It's a great pleasure to have all of you here today. I thought you all might begin your tour here. Hey YouTube fans, Ramby Jordan here from the Auto Diesel Channel. Today I want to show you three additions that I've added to my uh, boxed up camper. Uh, one is a little change I made to this drawer, center drawer latching uh, that I'm much more happy with. Uh, second is a table that I just created uh, with an articulating arm on it. And thirdly is to discuss water pressure and uh, how you can regulate your water pressure better if you're going into an RV camp. So here we go. So the first change I've made is to change the latching mechanism on this center drawer. Uh, the drawer is so heavy that uh, when I stop too quickly it'll have a tendency to want to come forward and so uh, I had put in a, uh, a certain type of door latch on it that um, stopped it after about two, two or three inches but um, because of the weight of it it still moves forward but now I've got something here that keeps it from moving all together. So let me show it to you. So here again these are simple door latches you can see this drawer slides pretty easily on its own so now I've got this little latch that you normally can put in a door and just set it in there and the same thing on this side I put one in on this side and now the door won't move at all it's very solid it won't move at all and then I can still pull these out reverse them over when I'm stopped and uh, get into whatever I want to get into so there you go something to think about if you're trying to do something like this I'm pretty happy with this now second thing I've done is to put in a, a little table with a an articulating arm I didn't have a table in here and um, I decided to uh, I wanted something that was movable that worked out of this passenger seat. So what I've done here is to build a little two foot table that matches the rest of the area here. As you can see it moves. Uh, I've got it set on this articulating arm which is the same one I've got my TV mounted on bolted into the side here. So now it'll move and I've braced it underneath as you can see. Um, to give it extra strength this thing will hold about 60 pounds the way it is and uh, as I mentioned this table is two foot in diameter and um, with this articulated capability I can put it out of the way whenever I want to move it out of the way to take a shower or keep it out of the doorway or bring it back into position when I'm ready to sit down and eat as you can see, I can just sit down into this passenger chair now and bring it over with some food on it to, to eat whenever I'm ready. So it uh, turned out pretty nice, like I said. And just uh, When I'm traveling, it should just rest up against the back of this chair. And um, uh, when I'm here, obviously, I can move it all, all the way inside this area here or just keep it moved out of the way toward the shower curtain area. I'm pretty pleased with that. Like I said, this is a an articulating arm and I showed you in that other build that I just did. It pivots here and here. Could have pivoted out here once more, but I, I, uh, I stopped that pivot because I didn't need to use it. So, like I said, I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay, so as I mentioned, last time I went out uh, camping, I stopped at a state park that uh, had high water pressure, primarily due, I think, to the fact that uh, there was a lot of people there on a Saturday, and they basically cleared out on Sunday, and I had the place to myself, so I think the water pressure was close to 100 pounds per square inch. I developed a single drip uh, on my SureFlow water entry on the other side that I was concerned about, so uh, doing some investigation about water pressure, um, I just... I realized that I need to put in a water pressure regulator on this truck here so I'm going to show you what I've done here and compare it to what's at the what's normally at my house so my house water pressure is normally at 60 pounds per square inch and this regulator I'm going to show you is going to take it down to 40 to 50 uh, pounds per square inch which should be fine uh, and I shouldn't have this type of problem again so this is what it looks like 
Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a contraption that I've built here that I use at my RV sites. Um, one of which contains this Valterra water pressure regulator gauge and then this general water pressure testing gauge. You can buy this at Home Depot. Uh, this one you can buy at the uh, typical RV uh, supply locations. Uh, you can see here this one is destined, designed to keep outlet pressure at 40 to 50 pounds per square inch. And so even though this one's going to likely read 60 pounds, this one's only going to read 30 or 40 pounds, uh, depending on um, at some point it should start at 40, and if I use the water, it'll drop maybe down to around 30. So you can also see I've got a, a, a dual outlet um, valve here that. Uh, when I turn the water on here, I can also control it with these valves on and off if I'd like to. So here we go. We're going to turn on the water pressure. And these are valves are closed at the moment, so they're still reading zero. We'll open this one up. And you can see here this is reading close to 60. About 50, 58 pounds per square inch. Once we open up this one, so now we've got some water pressure build up into the vehicle and it's come up to about 30, 34 pounds at the moment. Let's go make sure I don't have any water running. I do happen to have water running. The valves are on right here. Just let it build up and we'll see if I get any any tiny leaks like I did before I shouldn't we'll keep an eye out for it but I don't expect we'll get any now with the water pressure that low all right so now that I've shut the water off the water pressure has gone back up to 44 pounds per square inch and holding there turn the water on I'm going to go back down about 10 pounds to around 34 but this valve should maintain pressure for me regardless of where, what this pressure is over here okay so there you go water pressure regulator new table uh, latches for the drawer uh, things are proven little by little and uh, hope you uh, enjoy some of those ideas I definitely would recommend the water pressure regulator if you're doing a do-it-yourself uh, vehicle like this. I should have put this in in the beginning. I uh, didn't consider it because I didn't know better. But uh, So there you go. Live and learn. So good luck in your camping experience. We'll talk to you again soon.